You might think you know female golden retrievers, but this video may surprise you. Let's kick it off with the surprising fact that it's not only male goldens who lift their legs when they pee. Yep, female golden retrievers will sometimes lift their legs when they pee too. They normally don't do it as much as males do, but when they do, they do it for the same purpose, to mark their territories and send a message to other dogs passing by. By peeing on things, your dog can tell other dogs what gender they are, their current health and stress levels, and even if they're looking to make puppies. One study found that female dogs are more likely to direct their pee and mark more often when they're farther away from home. They also may mark their territories by scratching the ground after they go potty. This can help disperse their scent and leave a visual mark on the ground. Plus, they have scent glands in their paws that will leave a message for other dogs to check out. And speaking of peeing, I have some good news for you if you have a female golden retriever puppy. Female goldens are often easier to potty train than male golden retrievers. This may be due to the fact that they mature faster than males, they don't mark as much as them, or, as some people think, that they're smarter than males. But even though they're usually easier, it's not always easy to potty train them. So we created the Potty Training Cheat Sheet to help you potty train your puppy fast. You can download it for free, and I'll leave a link for you down in the description. Now, this next fact is about another behavior that many people think is only for male dogs. Humping. Yes, female golden retrievers will sometimes mount other dogs too. Obviously, they're not trying to impregnate another dog, like intact males do. They usually do it when they're playing, when they're overexcited, or to show dominance. If your dog has a humping problem, I shared some tips in our video about male golden retriever facts on how to stop it. And I'll link to that video in the description for you. And if you have a female golden retriever, or you're considering getting one, then I've got great news for you. The oldest golden retriever in history was a female. Augie, the rescue golden, was born on April 24th in the year 2000, and she lived until she was 20 years old. She celebrated her record-setting birthday with a dog-friendly carrot cake and some quality time with her golden siblings, Sherman, Belle, and Bruce. Although she was a bit shaky to get up at 20 years old, she still enjoyed daily walks around the yard. The average lifespan for a golden retriever is 10 to 12 years old, so Augie just about doubled that. Some people say that female golden retrievers live longer than males, and though I haven't seen any studies to back that up, I do know that Augie, the oldest golden retriever ever, was a female. This next fact is another one where female goldens are better than males. And that is the fact that female golden retrievers have a better sense of smell than them. According to the book Canine Scent Training by Rezzy Gerritsen and Rude Hack, who are two dog training specialists, female dogs actually tend to have a stronger sense of smell than males. And this is interesting because it seems to be the same with humans, where on average female humans have a better sense of smell than males. Humans and goldens are also similar in this next quality. Female golden retrievers are smaller than males on average. The AKC breed standard for females is 21.5 to 22.5 inches tall at the shoulders and 55 to 65 pounds. For males, on the other hand, the AKC breed standard is 23 to 24 inches tall and 65 to 75 pounds. If you love golden retrievers and you want a smaller dog, then a female golden might be the dog for you. Now let's talk about puppies. The average litter size for a female golden retriever is eight puppies, but this number can vary a lot. Golden retriever moms can sometimes have a litter of just one puppy, which is called a singleton. And then on the other end of the spectrum, according to the AKC, the largest known litter of golden retriever puppies was 17. Ooh, great job, mama. Sticking with the topic of mama golden retrievers, this next fact is very odd. Female golden retrievers can give birth to a litter of puppies with multiple dads at the same time. Yes, two separate males can impregnate her within a few days of each other, and she can give birth to both of their puppies in the same litter. This actually happened to one of my best friend's dogs. He purchased what he thought was a purebred golden retriever from a breeder. But a few weeks after bringing him home, he noticed that he started to look a little bit like a lab. And as it turns out, the breeder also bred Labradors, and apparently one of the male labs got a little frisky with one of the female Goldens. Some of the puppies in her litter were purebred Goldens, while others were half Golden, half Lab. And speaking of making puppies, we've got some interesting facts for you about female Goldens and their heats. Female Golden Retrievers have their first estrus cycle between the ages of 6 months to a little over a year old. 
This is commonly known as their heat, or in human terms, their period. Every dog is different, so when they get their first one can vary quite a bit. And after her first heat, she'll have it about every six months, but again, this can vary. When female Goldens are in heat, they can act a little different. They may be starving all the time, or not want to touch their food at all. They may be clingy and need extra attention, or they may pretend like they don't even know you. Plus, they can start marking or peeing on things more to mark their territory and let other dogs know that they're in heat. Spaying your Golden will stop them from going into heat, but there are a lot of things you should know before you make that decision, which we'll talk about soon. Now, if you happen to be getting a new Golden Retriever puppy, you're going to appreciate this next fact. This year, Daisy is the most popular name for a female Golden Retriever. This is according to our yearly study of nearly 600 Golden Retriever owners. Last year, the name Daisy was number 15 overall, but this year it jumped to number 2 overall, right behind Leo. I'll leave a link for you in the description with the most popular Golden Retriever names this year. Next up is one of the weirdest facts on this list. Female Golden Retrievers are more likely to be right pod than males. But this one isn't exactly a fact. Yes, some studies have found females more likely to be right pod than males, but other studies have shown no difference between them. So this is still kind of up in the air. You can see if your dog prefers one paw over the other by putting a blanket over their head or a sticker on their nose and seeing which paw they use to get it off. Or if you don't want to do that, you can often just get your dog to give you a paw by holding out a treat or toy and not giving it to them. If you teach your dog to shake, you'll probably notice that they prefer to give you one paw over the other. My male golden retriever, Oliver, appears to be a righty. And this next fact is the most important one on this list. Getting your female golden retriever spayed can have a huge effect on her health. There have been a lot of studies about the effect of spaying not only dogs, but golden retrievers specifically. I'll link to our blog post about spaying your golden down in the description where you can get links to all the studies. But let's talk about some of the highlights. First, a 2019 study found that golden retrievers spayed at any age were 50 to 100% more likely to become overweight or obese compared to intact dogs. And excess weight makes joint issues more likely, which leads us to this next study. This one found that both females and males sterilized before one year of age showed an increase in cranial cruciate ligament tear. This ligament is an important ligament in their knee, kind of like an ACL for humans. The Golden Retriever Club of America did a study on Golden Retriever height and found that taller Goldens had shorter lifespans. And spaying your pup before one year of age results in taller dogs by delaying the closure of bone growth plates. This allows the dog to keep growing longer than if they were intact. Therefore, females spayed before one year of age are likely to be taller, which is associated with a shorter lifespan. And then we've got the dreaded C word. Research has shown that spaying, no matter the age, is associated with an increased occurrence of cancer. Of course, there are benefits to spaying your golden retriever, like no unwanted pregnancies and controlling the dog population, but definitely talk to your vet about your lifestyle and the potential risks of spaying your dog. And if you have a golden or you're considering getting one, watch this video on what they don't tell you about golden retrievers next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.